Okay, today you are going to create a nine value value scale with green acrylic paint. Step one, choose your green. Add a small but generous amount of white and a smaller amount of black. White is for your tints, black is for your shades. Begin by painting the center square with your base color. I like a flat brush in these squares because it allows you to make those nice clean edges. The paint is just a touch dry because we're in the sun here. Nice and solid, okay? You shouldn't see any white paper coming through. I have a little bit of black on my brush, unfortunately. I'm just going to go with it. There we go. So you start with your base color in the middle. Then I think it's best to go white next so you don't tint your brush with the black. So you can go either way. Traditionally, you want to add uh, the dark to the light, but you know. Do what, what works for you. There we go. I think that's a slightly lighter tint than my base color. Just, I'm just going to darken that up just a touch. It looks a little too dramatically different. There we go, that's better. Okay, and then continue to add white to create a lighter tint. And you can even shift over, like if you're noticing you're having a hard time getting a lighter tint, you get to shift your color mixing over to the white area. And typically it's, it's better to add dark to light. If I'm going to go with the pure white white for my final lightest tint but I think I'll go with a super light super light green just just a hint and I may have to go back in and adjust my tints That's, that's cool, that's all part of the process. There we go, okay. Same concept, now head in the darker direction or shades. Whenever you add black to a color, it's called a shade. You can think of it like pulling down the shades in a house, things get darker. Darker. 
I would not recommend working in the sun because things dry so fast. You can see I can't even get the color down. Much more of the black. There we go. I like that better. Okay. Um, also, when you add paint, just use a teeny bit. You really don't need much. This is a small project. Notice, notice I drag my brush. It's a great way to control the direction of the paint, the flow. Your arm has a lot more control when you drag it as opposed to pushing it or, or, or trying to wiggle into a corner or something like that. If you can just drag it, that's good. best things about these square tip brushes is the fact that you can choose a wide line or if you need to get tight next to something tipping it to the side and dragging it all right heading towards my darkest shade you can make it pure black if you want or make it close You could have just a hint of green in there to keep it interesting. I think I'll darken up that second one just a little bit. Good, all right. Now, you give it a shot.